Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, I want to talk about how to calculate sales tax. My first example is a ticket to a music show costs $35 and the sales tax is 6%. So what will be the final price, the price with tax? We will first calculate the tax itself, which will be 6% of $35. And then we will add that to the price. Okay? So we need to calculate 6% of $35. And with this problem I will show you how to do it with mental math. Okay? We'll first calculate 1%. 1% of this number would be 35 cents. Okay? And 2% would be double that, which is 70 cents. Okay? And now from 2% to 6%, I will now go times 3, this number, and so the 6% will be $2.10, okay? That's the tax that we will need to add to the base price, and so the final price will be $37.10. In this example, a freezer costs, without tax, $250, and the tax is 5%. The tax is 5% of this number. To calculate the tax, we could think first of 10%, because 5% will be just half of 10%, right? And so 10% would be, I'm sorry, 10% would be 10th part of this number. Divide this by 10, it would be $25. And so 5% will be exactly half of this, or $12.50. And then we add the base price and the tax to get um, $262.50. Now, here's a book that costs $20, sales tax 16%. I chose 16 because in some countries the tax is a lot higher than in the United States. So let's use 16 now for an example. And I want to calculate 16% of $20, and this time I'm going to use decimals. Show you another way to calculate. Um, let's first change the 16% to a decimal, and this one, this word of, translates into multiplication. And there we go. 16% as a decimal is 0 0.16. This is times, and then we have 20. And now, to multiply using a decimal number. First multiply as if there was no decimal point at all. It is 16 times 20, which is of course 16 times 2, and then tag a 0 there. 32 and then a 0, 320. But now we have to think how many decimal digits are here, as many decimal digits need to be put here. So the decimal point goes here. The tax itself is $3.20. And then the final price is, of course, 23.20, like that. Here I have an example with more difficult numbers. A fan that is costing $31.90 and the tax is 6.5%. And we will use a calculator for these kind of difficult numbers. Uh, the tax to add, okay? Let's use the same method as I used here, where I have the, the tax percentage here as a decimal, and then times the number. And if the 6.5% kind of sounds difficult, first think that if it was only 6%, how would you go about it? If it was 6%, I would have 0 0.06 as a decimal times that number. But since I have 6.5%, I will just add this 5 here, okay? My decimal is now 0 0.065, and that is the same as 6.5%. So that is the tax to add once you calculate that. And I have calculated it beforehand, so I know the answer. It is about 2.07. I say about because it has to be rounded. It actually continues from here, but we cannot use the extra decimals because it has to be run into the nearest cent. The 
that many dollars. The final price, now we add this and this. So we have $33.97. Then I'm going to show you a quicker way, quicker if you have a calculator, that is, quicker way to write all this, where you don't have to have two calculations, but just one. And it goes from this. Uh, if I write a single expression for what I just did in two steps, what I did was I had the base price, oh, I'm sorry, 31.90, and to that I added this here, right? 0 0.065 times 31.90. I can write this as a single calculation Technically, I'm going to use distributive property, but you don't have to think of the technicalities. Just think of it here. Here's once the price, and here's this number times the price. So there is a single expression I can write which goes like this. It is this expression, and then I change the zero to one. 1. 1.065 times 3190. Okay? And this is a single calculation you can put into your calculator and get the final price in one go. And of course you will get the same answer, rounded, $33.97. Okay, this one here basically signifies the base price. You take the price once. And then this part is you take the price, that decimal, times the price. Okay. My last example, this E here, is euros. And uh, I chose this because in Europe, a lot of times, the value-added tax is even higher. And so we have a bike costing 210 euros, and the tax is 22.5%. Let's use this here, this exact way of calculating it. How would we rate it now? Okay, we will have our price here. Times, and we will have one point something. This one signifies taking the price one time, okay, once the price, and then the percent times the price, okay, and this as a decimal would be, okay, 0 0.225, okay, and so I'm going to add this 0 0.225 to my 1 here, 1.225 times the base price. And that's my single calculation now that I can put into a calculator. And the answer is 257.25. There. It actually goes up quite a bit because the uh, tax percent is quite high.